the Tevo Michelangelo is another 3D printer I got from my sponsor Gearbest. It's a very compact device with a build volume of 15x15x15cm. The electronics including the power supply is inside the metal box forming the lower part of the printer. The weight of more than 6kg is an indicator for a great build quality you get for a low price. The Michelangelo ships assembled, you only have to screw the rubber feet on... ...and put a plastic knob on the rotary switch. All axes are guided along the aluminum bars by plastics rollers. You can adjust the contact pressure of the rollers through eccentric nuts, however it was all done perfectly in the factory. A bit of lubricant on the rollers reduces friction, all in all it is a reliable construction with no noticeable backlash. The tension of the X and Y belt is perfect out of the box, however you can adjust that easily by moving the deflection pulley on the X axis... ...or the stepper motor of the Y axis. The Z axis is driven by a spindle, it also moves smoothly along the extruded aluminum bar. The printer has contactless and switches, something I haven't seen before in that price range. Also not very common is the geared extruder motor pushing the filament into the hot end with high force, I did not notice any skipping during my test prints. On the printhead, there is one fan blowing on the cool side of the printhead... ...while two fans can be switched to cool your prints from both sides of the nozzle, usually you can find only one of them at low cost printers. Print data is read from an SD card, a storage card of 512MB ships with the printer, however you can also use SDHC cards with higher capacity. Before turning the printer on for the first time I have lowered the build plate, the tiny knurled nuts are a bit fiddly to operate. After pushing the switch on the back side of the device... ...the info screen appears, you can hear almost nothing, the Michelangelo is very quiet. With the rotary switch you can home all axes. To level the build plate you can drive the printhead to the corner points of the bed through the menu. Leveling is done as usually by raising the build plate step by step... ...until nothing but a sheet of paper fits tightly between nozzle and print bed in the final run. To feed the printer with filament you must preheat the hot end. As soon as the target temperature is reached you can push a lever on the extruder motor and insert filament... ...until a strand of plastics exits the nozzle. The Michelangelo has no heated print bed, which is why I'm using a glue stick to get good adhesion of prints on the plastics coating of the build plate. The printer comes with no filament and even a filament holder is missing. That's why my first print is a filament holder I have created using Open S-Cut. With a height of 15cm, the print goes from edge to edge on the build plate, keep in mind that the filament holder isn't printed upright. The infill is printed with 60mm per second... ...the parameters with 40mm per second. The layer height is set to 0.2mm and I'm using PLA. The Michelangelo is also very quiet while printing. After almost 10 hours, the print is finished. There are no gaps in the surface and all edges are straight. 
Because of the shape of the filament holder, it can be removed easily by hand. The filament holder is mounted on top of the aluminum bar of the Z-axis, with that the Michelangelo still needs only a small base area and you can pick the printer up with one hand. To get a good adhesion of the tiny structures of my next print on the build plate, I have set speed and acceleration of the first layer to no more than 15mm per second and 30mm per second squared. The following layers are printed with clearly higher speed settings. The objects with a base area of no more than 35 x 30mm are chain links for a new tracked robot being under construction. With each run you can print 9 of them on the build plate of the Michelangelo. The layer height is set to 0.2mm which is a good value for most prints. After approximately 6 hours, the job is finished. To avoid a large number of scrap prints, I have determined the best parameters while printing a single chain link. With the correct parameters for retraction, there are no strings in the gaps and the right amount of cooling results in perfect overhangs. The links fit together as they came out of the printer, resulting in a perfectly working chain. Next part of my new robot is a drive wheel having a diameter of 8.4cm. The wheel is a decagon with cuts for the bars of the chain. To make it lightweight, the infill is set to 15% using a honeycomb fill pattern. The print job is finished after 6 hours. Last part manufactured in this review is the chassis of the robot that is printed with orange colored PLA. This robot is similar to my Rover R10 that I have shown in a previous video. No printer is too small for a project if you know how to do 3D design on your computer. If a part is too big to produce it in a single run, you must cut it into smaller pieces. The front part of the chassis has a base area of 9.4x11cm. The total height is 5.5cm. The print job is finished after 8.5 hours, with the scrapper it is easy to remove from the build plate. The print quality of the Michelangelo is really good, I definitely like the results. There are no gaps in the surfaces, all parts fit together and that's what's needed when doing prototyping. You can have a closer look at the full resolution photos of all prints made for this video on my pages. There I will also publish photos of the missing parts needed to build the robot. The Tevo Michelangelo is a compact printer with a sturdy mechanics at a low price, I definitely like the device. There is no heated bed, however as shown in the video, there is no need for a heating, PLA sticks perfectly on the build plate of the Michelangelo. PLA is easy to process with a 3D printer and it emits no fumes, so it is the perfect type of plastics for common prints and the best choice for beginners. The Michelangelo occupies only a small area and you can put it on your desk quickly whenever it is needed, the built-in power supply is definitely an advantage of the design. If you are looking for a printer that is easy to carry with you to show 3D printing to a larger audience, you will love the sturdy mechanics. The Michelangelo is definitely a good choice for beginners or for people that are looking for a printer that can be operated in the office. There are no gimmicks like a color touch screen or wireless networking, which is a clear advantage, not only if you want to start firmware experiments. In the manual you can find instructions of how to do firmware uploads, that's really great. You can read more about this printer on my pages. Thanks for watching and I'll be back.